this video we are going to see how to download and install apps from Apple App Store so you can launch the App Store from the dock or you can go from finder to applications and the App Store right there you can launch it from there as well uh, now just like on any phone everybody's so used to now app stores be a microsoft store a android store or apple uh, there are different categories if you know what you want uh, you can always search from here or if you want to uh, it's uh, just browse through three through different categories most of the people they look for the games um, to you know uh, kill time you can do that so for example there is one here it got my attention it says password manager so you can see actually go and click get it will say install if I click on it it will take me to the page so it really depends upon you if you if you know you want this just go click here if you want to like you know, go around find what it is and find more information maybe screen some screenshots over here you can look and through them uh, mostly uh, i am always interested in reviews like what kind of reviews it getting was, was there anything recently that broke the functionality in terms of you know so uh, the date wise uh, these are two years ago so they are probably not relevant now so that's what i look for you know the the these uh, softwares they're always updating getting upgrades and uh, so I, before I install something I want to make sure of, of course if I know something like a, a program or app that I really want then I don't go uh, looking about the reviews because I have used them and I know firsthand what they look like or what the functionality is now not very impressive of the screenshot they are not kind of useless but uh, for the sake of installing and then uninstalling I'm gonna get this so install it will go uh, install it now the other thing to keep in uh, mind if it's paid it will actually sh not say install it will rather tell you the price all right so now it's gonna get that it's installing almost there so this is a cool thing to show you now if you uh, if I, I don't know if you notice not as soon as it will install this kind of jumped so basically what that means is that it's been added to the applications so if you go uh, right there on the very top now it's pretty server straightforward like open you can launch it from anywhere don't allow because start my trial I'm not gonna do any of this because I only install it to show you how to uninstall it so you can see it's over here it's just uh, uh, open like it's giving you the option to open now there are two ways to uninstall it the other one is, one is that you go and let's see if it's doable or not options and remove from dock or show in finder so in finder you can let me so uninstall I said do but I can only think of it as move to trash and somewhere probably here nope I lied so you can act basically actually remove it from the application uninstalling oh. that's embarrassing yep so that is you can move it to uh, trash and it will basically ask you do you really want to un uninstall it enter your password 
and it will be up. You have to crack enter the correct password. Oh, that is him. Uh, okay, it's asking me for the uh, not the iCloud password but the uh, system password. Okay, so that sound means it's gone. The other one I believe could be in down. It could be uninstalled from the App Store itself. Uh, from some of the apps, when you are uh, searching for them, there will be a cloud sign. Let's first launch it. So basically, over here in the get, it will not be installed. It will show up a cloud and then a down arrow. What that means is that you have already installed this app on another machine or another device through the same account so it knows remember so you don't have to pay if it's paid you don't have to pay it multiple times lastly we want to see the update so if anything you have installed it will be here and you can actually go and update them like if there are it's an easier way of rather than to go opening in each file waiting for it to prompt for the update you can come here see and if it, it's up to you do you uh, selectively update things or you update all you know one go yeah so that's what it is I'm looking for an option to uninstall something from here not really okay so let's go to here App Store go to Word and I believe if I click it and move to trash it will remove it from my system yes that was the other option other way of uninstalling an app right clicking and move to trash all right so I let's let's wrap this video here I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one